Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And today, I want to be talking about acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis, popularly known as Apollo conjunctivitis, or simply Apollo. I'm a daisy, your own and I doctor. Apollo, or acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis, but I will call it Apollo throughout this video, is caused by adenoviruses and Picona viruses, enteric 70 virus, the smallest virus size, like they're very, very tiny, hence the name Picona virus. And it was first seen as an epidemic in Ghana in the year 1969 when Apollo spacecraft, Apollo X1 spacecraft, was launched, hence the name Apollo. It is very, very common during the dry season, Hamatan here in Nigeria, and abroad it's winter so during the dry season that's when it's spread popular that's when there is the epidemic it presents with the symptoms of redness watery eyes pains eye ache uh, you feel like there is something like foreign body sensation in your eyes you find it hard to go out under the sun your eyes become very painful and watch when you go out when you go out under the sun, your lids are swollen and you can't open your eyes clearly to see. That's when you suspect you have a bone. But since there is no known treatment, there is no known treatment for a bone, it's usually self-limiting. Within the space of five to seven days, it goes away on its own. There is no treatment yet. But sometimes we can use broad spectrum antibacterial to drop eye drops that has antibacterial. That's just what we use sometimes to prevent the cornea involvement. Then, the only best treatment for Apollo is hygiene, lead hygiene, eye hygiene, environment hygiene. Since it's highly contagious, the only thing we have to do is to make hygiene our utmost priority. So you make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. Whenever you go out, whenever you touch any surface, wash your hands thoroughly before you scratch your eye or you do anything to your eye. And as much as possible, avoid contact with your eyes. Avoid touching your eyes or anything. Avoid it. Apollo does not spread by looking at the person that has Apollo. It doesn't. That is just a knife. It doesn't spread like that. It doesn't spread by uh, hugging someone that has a polio. It only spreads through direct contact from infected object or, or person or anything. Direct contact from infected object or person to the eye. That's the only way a polio is spread. And then through fecal oral pathways, that's through physics, maybe you passed out your physics after wiping and everything, you didn't wash your hands and you just uh, put it in your eyes or your mouth. That's the way it can spread. It doesn't spread by looking at the person that has a pollen. So that's what I want to correct. The major thing we need to prevent this a is hygiene. So whenever you've gone out and you've touched anything, don't touch it to your eyes. Avoid as much as possible, avoid touching your face. Because it's highly uh, open. It can it's it's it is a broad platform for infection. So avoid touching your face. Then don't share your thoughts with anybody because you might not know. It takes one or two days to incubate before it starts manifesting. So maybe the person has been exposed to the virus just a day, maybe 12 hours, 24 hours, 32 hours, and you wouldn't know. You, you now use the person's towel to wipe your face too. Use your own towel. Wash your towels and use your towel personally. It's, your, it's for personal use. Avoid sharing cosmetics with people. Sharing eye pencil, eyeliner, mascara, and all those cosmetics you touch your eyes and your face with and you share it. You might get infected as a result of this. Then, if you're infected, Stay away from the crowd. If you've noticed that you have this Apollo, please stay away from crowd. 
stay away from the swimming pools, from camps, just stay indoors. Five to seven days is not so much, you can manage. Stay away to avoid further spread. Then you can get it from sneezing. Uh, when an infected person sneezes, you can get it. So when you're sneezing and you're infected, please cover your face. And even if you're not infected, if you want to sneeze in a public place, please cover your face because that's the, a very big way to spread infections. Cover your face when sneezing. That's a way to spread infection. Then, wash your hands thoroughly after using the toilet. Wash your hands thoroughly. Do not wash, use the toilet and rush out. That's how you can, you can easily touch your face without knowing. And then get the apple. Then, when you, are, when you already have this apple, and you're going out under the, under the sun. You know, the sun paints your eye. When when you when your eye sees bright light, it becomes painful and everything and watery. So when you're going out under the sun, wear your sunshades to cover your eyes, to protect your eyes. Wear sunshades so that at least you have reduced pain. Then, when you come home, you can wash your your neat towel. Just touch cold water, or you can use cold compress, and then compress on your eyes so that it will relieve you of the pains and the severe ache you're getting from the apple. Then, above all, stay safe. If you're already infected, stay indoors and then help us to avoid the spread. Then, another thing I want to address is the use of breast milk and urine for apple or any eye condition. Breast milk is food. Breast milk is food food it is not an eye drop urine is a waste it is not an eye drop avoid the use of these things to your eyes people normally use it when they have a pool please it cannot help you it will only make matters worse when you think you can't endure the pains and everything then see your eye doctor to prescribe the right antibacterial eye drops for you hope you got value from watching this video Thank you for staying with me to this moment. Subscribe if you've not done so. And then turn on your notification bell to get notified every Wednesdays by 8 p.m. when I'll be uploading new educative videos to inform you on the best way to take care of your eye health. Take care of your eye health and get the best vision. Bye.